The Sidechain EQ now features a high-pass filter option for the low-frequency band. Toggle the button to switch between the low shelf and the high-pass options. We can edit values in the EQ pop-up box in two ways. Double-click on the EQ box to enter a value with the keypad, or drag the number with the mouse. Remember, when drag editing, we can hold the Shift key to get a finer degree of resolution. Auto Gain now begins analysis automatically when activated, so we don't need to click the Analysis button to start the process anymore. When external sidechain is active, Auto Gain is not needed, so it now disables itself automatically so you don't have to do it. When using the external sidechain input, we can audition the input signal by clicking on the S button. When we want to return to the main audio signal again, we can just toggle it off. The AAX version has been updated to enable a mono sidechain input into a stereo instance of Sculpt. This enables us to route the key input into Sculpt, whether we use a mono or stereo version. Various bug fixes, stability and performance improvements, including a bug where incorrect latency was occasionally reported in Wavelab. You can download Sculpt version 1.3 using the Plugin Alliance Installation Manager and start using all the new features today. From everyone at Adapter Audio, thanks for watching and happy mixing.